So we're going to be doing with uh, equations with variables on both sides. So let's look at this. You draw a line through the, equa the equal sign. Distribute if ne necessary. Collect like terms only on same side of the line. Move all the variables to one side of the equation. Move all the numbers to the opposite side of the equation. And solve. So here we go. First things first. So I draw a line straight down. Then it just says distribute. There's nothing to distribute. There are no parentheses. Like terms. If I look on the left-hand side, no like terms. If I look on the right-hand side, no like terms. So I don't have to do that step. So move all the variables to one side of the equation. When I do this, I look like to see which one, which side has the smallest number in front of the variable. Negative 2 is smaller than 7. So that's the one that I'm going to move. I'm going to add 7 at, or try that again, add 2x to both sides of the equal sign. This turns to 0. This gets 9x. I bring down the 19 and I bring down the 55. Then I need to do just like I've been doing the other problems, and I need to subtract 19 to the other side. So 9x equals, I'm going to borrow, that'll get me 6, that'll get me 36. I divide by 9, and x equals 4. Okay, then I come over here. Okay, so on this one, I draw it down. Okay, there's no distributive to do. There's no collecting like terms to do. Now, on this one, do you notice how there's only one thing, one term on the right-hand side? That means we want to move this over. Doesn't matter which one's bigger or smaller, whatever. The fact that this right here is all by itself, that means we want to move this over. So when I do that, I'm going to add 9y to both sides. When I do that, I get negative 30 equals 15y. If I divide by 15 on both sides, I get negative 2 equals y. This one. Again, there's no distributive going on. But there is collecting like terms on the same side of the equal sign. So 3x plus 4x gets 7x minus 10 equals 5x minus 16. Notice how it was the same side of the equal sign. I did not go over the equal sign. I did not go over that line yet. I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides because 5x is smaller than 7x. I got 2x minus 10 equals negative 16. I add 10 to both sides of the equal sign. I get 2x equals negative 6. I divide both sides by 2 and x equals negative 3. Now I have not been very good about checking my work. Come on. I haven't done a good job of checking my work. I apologize. So 7 times 4 plus 19 equals negative 2 times 4 plus 55. So this gets me 28 plus 19, negative 8 plus 55. So that would be a 7, that would be a 347, and this would be a 47. So I apologize, I forgot to check my work. Then I'll come over here and check my work here. Make sure I've done the right thing. So negative 30 minus 9 times negative 2 equals 6 times negative 2. So negative 30 plus 18 equals negative 12. Negative 12 equals negative 12. It works. So negative 2 is my answer. And on this one, 
So I have 3 times negative 3 minus 10 plus 4 times negative 3 equals 5 times negative 3 minus 16. <laughs> so we have negative 9 minus 10 plus, nope, that would be minus 12 equals negative 15 minus 16. So this would be negative 19 minus 12 equals negative 31. Negative 31 equals negative 31. So yay, I have the correct answer. Then over here, draw this down just like I normally do. There's no distributive going on, but I can collect like terms. Collecting like terms is on the same side of the equal sign. So the smaller number is 2x, so I'm going to subtract the 2x to the other side. I get 4 equals x plus 8. I subtract 8 from both sides, and I get negative 4 is equal to x. And then I check my answer to make sure that I did it correctly. 5 times negative 4 minus 3 times negative 4 plus 4 equals 3 times negative 4 plus 8. So that's negative 20 plus 12 plus 4 equals negative 12 plus 8. So this would get me negative 8 plus 4 equals negative 4. So negative 4 equals negative 4. So that works. So that means I have the correct answer. Over here, oh look here, I have distributive property. So I have to do that first before I do anything else. So I distribute. I get 2x plus 8 equals x minus 8. Okay, so I need to move. There's no combining of like terms. So I'm going to subtract the x to the other side. I get x plus 8 equals negative 8. I subtract 8 from both sides of the equal sign, and x equals negative 16. I plug that back in to make sure that I have done the correct work. So 2 times negative 16 plus 4 equals negative 16 minus 8. So 2 times negative 12 equals negative 24. So negative 24 equals negative 24. So yes, I did the correct work. Okay down here. So combining like terms, this gets me negative 6x plus 6 equals 14 minus 2x. What is smaller, negative 6x or negative 2x? Oops, how about I undo what I just did? So I'm going to add 6x to both sides. I get 6 equals 14 plus 4x. I'm going to subtract 14 from both sides. I'm going to get negative 8 is equal to 4x. Divide by 4 and get negative 2 is equal to x. Now let's see if I did this correctly. So negative, oops, negative times negative 2 plus 6 minus 5 times negative 2 equals 14 minus 2 times negative 2. So this is 2 plus 6 plus 10. Does that equal 14 plus 4? So this is 8 plus 10 is 18. Look at that. 18 equals 18. So x equals negative 2. So I go here. Oh, there's just lots of stuff going on on this one. So I do my distributive property first. So I get negative 12x minus 3 plus 6x equals 8x minus 24. Then I need to combine like terms. So I would get negative 6x minus 3 equals 8x minus 24. I'm adding 6x because negative 6x is smaller than 8x. 
negative 3 equals 14x minus 24. I add, ooh. Did I do something wrong? 8x, negative 24, I don't know. This is going to come out to a fraction. So 21 is equal to 14x. I divide by 14, and this gets me 3 over 2 is equal to x. Doesn't mean it's wrong, but it could mean it's wrong. Let's see. Let's check our answer. Negative 3, 4 times 3 over 2 plus 1 plus 6 times 3 over 2 equals 4 times 2 times 3 over 2 minus 6. Oh, I don't have a lot of room. So let's do this. So negative 3, 2 goes into 4 2 times, so I get 6 plus 1 plus 2 goes into 6 3 times, so that's 9 equals 4 times 2's cancel, I get 3 minus 6. So this is negative 3 times 7 plus 9 equals 4 times negative 3. Negative 21 plus 9 equals negative 12. Yep, it works. We just got a fraction. Fractions are our friends. Okay. So let's do number nine. So distribute, distribute. So that's 32 minus 8x plus x equals negative 18 minus 6x. So I can, oops, didn't mean to do that. Combine like terms, I get 32 minus 7x equals negative 18 minus 6x. Negative 7x is the smaller of the two. So I get 32 equals negative 18 plus x. I add 18 to both sides. And I get, oh, that's a 0. 50 is equal to x. So let's plug it back in to make sure it's right. 4 minus 50 plus 50 equals negative 6 times 3 plus 50. So 8 times negative 46 plus 50 equals negative 6 times 53. Yeah, I don't know these numbers off the top of my head. It's okay. 46 times 8. That gives me 48. That's 32, so 36. I don't know. And then I have 53 times 6. Negative. That's 18. That's 31. Okay. Yep, it works. Because 68 minus 50 is 18. Yep. It works. Okay. Here we go. So again, I distribute. I get 2x plus 8 equals 2x minus 8 plus 4x. Combine like terms. 2x plus 8 equals 6x minus 8. Subtract 2x because 2x is smaller than 6x. 8 equals 4x minus 8. Add 8. Get 16 is equal to 4x. Divide by 4 and get 4 equals x. I plug it in to make sure I have the right answer. 2 times 4 plus 4 equals 2 times 4 minus 4 plus 4 times 4. So this is 2 times 8, 2 times 0 plus 16. 16 equals 0 plus 16. So 16 does equal 16. 
So I do have the correct answer. Okay, next, again, I distribute, make sure you distribute the negative also. So I have 24x minus 12 plus 2x equals 18x plus 12. So combine like terms. So I get 26x minus 12 equals 18x plus 12. I subtract the 18x because 18 is smaller than 26. When I do that, I get 8x minus 12 equals 12. I add 12 to both sides, and I get 8x equals 24. Divide by 8 and get x equals 3. So then, take that 3 and I plug it in. So 24 times 3 minus 2 times 6 minus 3 equals 6 times 3 times 3 plus 2. Um, that's a 2, that's a 1, that's 672 minus 2 times 3 equals 6 times 9 plus 2. 72 minus 6 equals 6 times 11. Um, that's going to get me a 66 equals 66. So x equals 3. Okay. So a taxi company has a trip fee of $2.50, an additional charge for $0.40 cents per mile. So if we're talking about the taxi company, we're talking about it costs $2.50 plus $0.40 cents for each mile. If we're talking about the yellow cab, it's $1.50 for the initial fee plus $0.50 cents for each mile. Okay? And that equals the cost for each one. Okay? It wants to know when these two are going to be the same. So what that means is I need to take the two equations and set them equal to each other. Oh, no equals. Set them equal to each other and solve. So I'm going to subtract this because it's smaller. And I get 2.5 is equal to 1.5 plus 0.1 M. I subtract 1.5 from both sides and I get one is equal to 0.1 M. <clears throat> By the, well, I'm gonna move it over here. One equals 0.1 M. By define. By 0 0.1, I'm going to get 10 is equal to the miles. So, they are the same at 10 miles. Okay? So, if a family decides to take a trip of 20 miles, which, mi which one is cheaper? So, let's see. If the cost for the taxi, so that's two fifty plus forty cents times twenty. So two fifty plus okay, so if I had twenty and I multiply it by point four, that's zero, that's eight with one decimal spot. So that's eight. So that's gonna get the taxi is gonna get me ten dollars and fifty cents. If I do the yellow cab, 
I'm going to do the cost of the yellow. That's going to be $1.50 plus 50 cents per mile times 20. So the cost of the yellow cab is $1.50. Okay, so 20 times 0.5. That's zero, that's 10 with one decimal point, so 10. So the cost of the yellow would be $11.50. So which one is cheaper? The taxi one is the one that's cheaper. Okay. So here we go with these. There's no distributing, there's the variables on on both sides, so I just do solving like so. Multiply by 9, and I'm not going to check every single one of these because I've already taught you how to do that. Okay. This one is a little weird. Okay, if I'm combining these, I have to have this, I have to have like denominators. So this, in order for it to have a 4 on the bottom, I need to multiply by 4 on top and bottom. So 3 fourths x plus 2 plus 20 over 4x equals 1 third x minus 7. So this is going to get me 23 over 4x plus 2 equals 1 third x minus 7. Then, I'm going to subtract one-third x from both sides. Well, I need a common denominator, so I multiply this by threes on top and bottom, and this by fours on top and bottom. So that's going to get me 69 over 12 x plus 2 equals negative 7. This will be negative 4 over 12 x. So that would get me 65 over 12 x plus 2 equals negative 7. I, subtra I subtract 2 from both sides. 65 over 12 x equals negative 9. And this is horrendous. This is horrendous. Just making sure that I did everything correctly. Okay. So then I would multiply by 12 over 65 and get x equals negative 108 over 65. Ridiculous.